हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स फॉर टर्म एंड एग्जामिनेशन फॉर ग्रेड नाइन एडवांस लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन सी दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी रिलेटेड विद जोमेट्री सिंपल जोमेट्री हेयर यू हैव टू अप्लाई ओके एंड सी आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन माई अनदर वीडियोज ऑल्सो दैट दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स कैन बी अनदर क्वेश्चन इन योर एग्जाम so i am just following one format so just try to understand the concept okay see here they are saying find measure of each numbered angle means we have to find angle 1 angle 2 and no one angle 1 and angle 2 okay see first of all you try to understand meaning of this thing what is the meaning of this sign it means this angle is 90 degree okay and same goes for angle r also this complete angle so this is 90 degree and it is divided into two parts 1 and 2 so this angle is 30 degree this angle 90 we know so what will be the measurement of angle 2 measurement of angle 2 plus 30 degree should be equal to 90 degree because this angle itself is a 90 degree so total angle of in triangle should be equal to 100 80 degree so what will be measurement of angle 2 it will be 90 minus 30 degree that is 60 degree okay now after finding the value of measurement of angle 2 we can easily find measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 it should be equal to 90 degree so measurement of angle 1 is equal to 90 minus 60 degree because measurement of angle 2 was 60 degree so it will be equal to 30 degree okay see in geometry we have so many methods to solve the question so try to find any other method and if it is interesting and if you think that that method is more shorter then you can write in the comment and definitely i'll pin that comment okay so that everybody can learn from your comment also okay now let's talk about another question same type of question they say find the measurement of each angle numbered angle so we have to find angle 1 and angle 2 okay now can you tell me the relation between angle 1 and angle 2 just pause the video think about it for few seconds and write the answer in the comment if you think that you know okay see measurement of angle 1 and angle 2 will be equal to each other yes why because they are vertical angles they are face to face angles so they will be equal to each other and then we can find the value of measure of angle 3 also so let's talk about angle 1 first so angle 1 i am not writing m again and again okay angle 1 plus 66 degree plus 58 degree is equal to how much it should be equal to 180 degree because it is forming a triangle pmq okay now so angle 1 plus 66 plus 58 it should be 14 65 11 and 112 degree is equal to 180 degree so angle 1 should be equal to 180 degree minus 124 degree so it should be equal to uh, 56 degree i guess just check the calculation okay so after finding the value of angle 1 angle 2 will also be equal to like angle 1 so it will be equal to 56 degree once again now after finding angle 2 we can find angle 3 also with the same property so angle 3 plus angle 2 plus 50 should be equal to 180 degree so angle 3 is required angle 2 is 56 plus 50 is equal to 180 degree so angle 3 is equal to 180 degree minus 56 plus 50 it will be 106 degree and 180 minus 106 means 74 degree so this is the value of angle 3 this is the value of angle 2 and 1 okay like this you can solve the question see only one concept i am applying every time that is sum of all internal angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree now let's talk about this question find the measure of each numbered angle so we have to find 1 2 and 3 okay let's see how can we find see if we can find this angle this one 
then this angle will be equal to angle 3 because they are vertical angles, face to face angle. We will see how we can do this thing. First of all, I am taking triangle R T U. You can have another methods also, no problem. Or you can first find angle 1 as well, okay? No problem, you can do that also. So, okay, let's talk about that only. I think that will be the shorter method. So, triangle U V T, okay? What we are going to see here? Angle 1 plus 35 plus 36 will be equal to 180 degree. So, angle 1 is equal to 180 minus 35 plus 60, I guess it will be 71 degree, okay? And 180 minus 71 means it will be equal to 109 degree. So, this is the value of angle 1. How much? 109. Now, can we have any relation with 3 and 1? Yes, they are linear pair because they are part of the same straight line. So, you can write the reason also, okay, so that you can understand since 3 and 1 are linear pair, 3 and 1 are linear pair, so measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degree, so measure of angle 1 is 109 plus measure of angle 3 is missing, so 180 degree. So, what should be measure of angle 3 is equal, is equal to 180 minus 109, it will be equal to 71 degree. So, we got another answer also, okay. Now, what about angle 2? Now, this angle 3 is 71 degree. So, this will also be 71 degree because they are vertical angle. You can write here so that you can remember it, okay. Angle R v u okay see my dear students in my another videos i have told you the angle what you have to consider means we have to consider this angle yes so this letter should be in the middle okay so r v u it means we are talking about this angle and it will be equal to angle 3 because they are vertical angles okay so it means it will be equal to 71 degree, okay? So, angle 2 plus 71 plus 80, it should be equal to 180 degree from that triangle RUV. So, angle 2 is equal to 180 minus 71 plus 80, it will be 151 degree. So, this is equal to 180 minus uh, 151, I guess it will be 29 degree. Just check the calculation, please, okay? So, 29 degree. Like this, you can find the answer, okay? Now, next question can be find measure of each numbered angle. Now, you see here 1 and 2. I am sure you are noticing this line here, single line here and single arc here also. It means angle 1 is equal to measurement of angle 2, okay? Now, if it is equal, then let's take it as x degree. So, what we can do here? x plus x plus 146 is equal to 180 degree. So, 2x is equal to 180 minus 146 means it should be equal to 34 degree. So, x will be equal to x will be equal to 34 divided by 2 means 17 degree. So, what answer you are getting here? Measure of angle 1 is equal to measure of angle 2 is equal to 17 degree. Okay? Like this you can solve the question. My dear students, if you have time in exam, then what you can do? You can check the answer also that whether it is right or wrong. How? Put here 17, here 17 and add all these three numbers. Okay? And if your answer is 180, then it means your answer will be correct. Okay? Now, next question can be? Find the measure of angle A, B, C. Now you see, this B letter is written in between. So, this angle we have to find. Okay. So, here, do we have any relation between 2x, 95 and 145? You see here, did you say 145 is an external angle? Yes. So, external angle is 
equal to sum of its opposite interior angle. So its opposite interior angles are 2x and 95. Okay, so see, maybe this property you did not study or you did not learn this property. So I will tell you two methods. Okay, see, 2x plus 40, sorry, not 45, 95 degree is equal to 145 degree. Okay, so 2x will be equal to 145 minus 95 degree. So 2x is equal to 145 minus 95, 5 minus 5, 0, 14 minus 9 will be 5. So x will be equal to 25 degree. So measurement of angle A, B, C is equal to 2x means 2 times 25. 2 times 25 means it is 50 degree. This is one method to solve this question. What is the another method? Another method is just ignore this uh, that what do you say opposite angle property external angle property it is 145 so we can easily find this angle because this will be the linear pair so just name it as y okay so y plus 145 is equal to 180 degree it means y is equal to 180 minus 145 means 35 degree okay so y is equal to 35 degree. So what we can have in that tri triangle? 2x plus 35 plus 95 is equal to 180 degree. So 2x is equal to 180 minus uh, 35 plus 95. I think it will be 130. And then 2x is equal to 180 minus 130 means 50 degree. So x is equal to 25 degree. See, here also we got 25 and here also we got 25. After that, question will continue like this. Okay. So, you have, I told you, you have various methods to solve the question. It depends in the exam that which method is striking in your mind. But make sure that you are very, very good in the calculation and please take care of your steps while doing the question. Okay. Now, another question can be find the measure of angle F same property here. So we have to find basically value of x. So what it will be? x degree plus x degree is equal to 58. Why 58? Because exterior angle property. Okay. So it is 2x is equal to 58. So x will be equal to 58 divided by 2 means 29 degrees. So measurement of angle f will be equal to 29 degree okay now this question can be see if measure of angle 1 so just let's uh, try to see this as a triangle okay this is one line and this is another line which is extended and this is another line okay so don't you think that here we can use the same property angle 1 here outside and angle 3 and 2 are its opposite interior angle so angle 1 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3 okay what you can say here that exterior angle is equal to sum of its opposite interior angles so measure of angle 1 is 7x minus 7 i am not writing degree again and again okay just you can write in the exam 4x plus 2 is the value of measure of 2 plus 2x plus 6 is the value of angle 3 now just simplify them 7x minus 7 is equal to 4x plus 2x are the like terms so they will be added together 6x and 2 and 6 are the like terms so it will be added together 8 now positive 6x here so just uh, subtract 6x from both the sides and it is negative 7 here so add 7 both the sides i'm sure you know how to solve the linear equations so 7x minus 6x it will be equal to x is equal to the here it is cancelled out here it is cancelled out 8 plus 7 is 15 so after finding the value of 15 we can find measurement of angle 1 which was equal to 7x minus 7 degree so it will be equal to 7 times 15 minus 7 so it is equal to 15 times 7 105 105 minus 7 oh my god very big number how i do it 107 105 minus 7 is 
98 degree so this will be the answer I, my dear students i am sure you have understood this concept just apply the concept of internal angle property of a triangle okay and i'm sure you can solve this question easily if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you